Lego Minecraft set 21243 The Frozen Peaks is a very good looking set. And not only that, it also offers plenty of flat tiles, making the set looks more even cooler. Hi everyone, I'm Jan, and for today's video, I will attempt to make an ice spikes biome using only this set. Since I have a very limited pieces to play with, my imagination drives me to create an open cave. And inside the cave, you can find a small dripstone section, and above of this cave is like a cliff of ice spikes. So for my plan, I will be using these plates to create the foundation or the base. The chosen size of this build will be a 5 by 6 plates or a total of 10 by 12 studs. I think this build will fit nicely for this size and by the way, I will not be using this big base plate because I really think I do not have the enough pieces to fully utilize this big piece. The foundation is a combination of a dark stone gray plate, a dark orange plate and a reddish brown plate. The dark stone gray plate will serve as the base for the cave and this dark orange plate will represent the puzzle dirt and a small suction of dirt using this reddish brown plate. To connect the base plates, I will use this 1x2 tile plate and use this 2 sand green plate to create a small tiger section. Now that the base is done, it's time to build the cave wall. In this right corner, I want to add the dripstone section. For the wall design, this is a very basic wall build, but I added some iron blocks the coal blocks and an emerald blocks near the dripstone. I even add these plates to create a small transition. This set only contains a four pieces of two by two reddish brown bricks. So I scrapped the idea to build a tree, but instead use this as a dirt block to add more layers and details. The white brick is also very limited, so stacking this white modified plate is the only way to create more white bricks. However, this set is very generous to include plenty of medium blue 2x2 two two brick and 2x2 two two flat tiles, so I was able to build this kind of ice spikes. Not probably the best build, but looks cool to be honest. Just like my favorite YouTuber said, tiling is very very satisfying. To add more details, I decided to keep a small tiger section with a flower. This brown tile serves to be a pathway. Tiling this podzol dirt will create a nicely snowy podzol. This glow lichen is a very nice addition in this set so I keep this design. Over here, I will place one regular torch and beside of it is the crafting table. In the middle of the cave, you will find the treasure chest full of enchanted dyed armors and a diamond pickaxe. I will place the goat over here at the top of the cliff and a stray wandering near the ice pipes. I really do not know where to place the creeper so let's place him behind the dripstone to create some suspense. And finally, placing our favorite classic hero Steve who is very happy opening his prized treasure chest.
Anyway, thank you so much for watching me today. Making this video is really fun. To be honest, I enjoyed making the alternate build for this set. Even after I complete this set, I still have a lot of pieces left to play with. But that's all for today's video and thank you so much. See you again next time for more fan video. Happy building everyone. Stay safe. Peace.